Rain in the forecast. Rain is what we have, but the players will have to deal with it here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. Only eight teams left in the race for Europa League glory. We're at the quarter-final stage of the competition. It's Milan, and they face Villarreal. Thank you, Derek. Only eight teams left. The dynamics at the tournament at this stage, the quarter-final, the favourites, they can see the final in the distance. The underdogs, they're on the crest of a wave. It's a brilliant part of the competition, this is. It should be a really exciting night. This is the Milan starting 11. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. This is the lineup for the visitors today. A 4 4 2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, he's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Can they take the lead? A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if you can nick an early goal. And they certainly have done. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Bonaventura in possession Baka Yoko Andres Silva opportunity it is and this time it's in well it's not a brilliant goal but it's a goal it's in the back of the net keeper couldn't do anything about it Let's go back to the goal that was scored. Chamanolu. Can they get themselves in front here? And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Suso's delivery, and they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, here's the replay, and there's the confusion all over the place. The keeper has got every right to be frustrated at his defenders, but the ball is in the back of the net. Let's see. And just like that, they've lost possession. Mano Trigueros. Baka. This attack looks highly promising. Will they get themselves level here? And a goal! Let's see that one again. It's all about the contact. Does everything right. He's not bothered where the goal is. He knows where it is. He gets a beautiful strike on it. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Have the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Can they trouble the opposition this time? 
They just let his opponent glide by. Back up! And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. A chance to revisit the goal. Played in there. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through. Yes, Derek, they have an advantage, but it's only a small one. There's not much between the two teams. Really good game of football. I'm really looking forward to that second leg, Derek.